On today's video, we're going to go over when to use a snap swivel, when to use just a snap or clip, or when to tie directly to the lure. Here is a snap swivel. It's got this snap or clip on one end that attaches to your lure and then it's got this swiveling part that attaches to your line. So it's a snap and a swivel all in one package. This is just a snap or a clip and it kind of just stands alone without the swivel. And of course, the advantage of using a snap clip or snap swivel is you don't need to cut and retie every time you change a lure. But should you always use a snap swivel? Or should you always use just a standalone clip or snap? Or should you always tie directly to the lure? This is how I approach it. I rarely use a full snap swivel in the traditional way. Usually, when I'm casting lures, I will use just a standalone clip or snap. The standalone snap or clip is going to be smaller in size and more discreet. So the lure will look more like it's supposed to in the water with less hardware attached to the front of it. Okay, so why would anybody use a full snap swivel if it makes the lure look less real? Well, one situation where a fisherman might want to use a full snap swivel is when they are fishing with some kind of a lure that spins in the water. Anytime you're fishing with a lure that spins in the water, that spinning motion can induce twists into your line, and that can cause a lot of problems. I did a couple other videos on just this subject alone, and if you're interested in those, I will leave a link below this video in the description if you want to check those out. Probably the most common types of lures that spin in the water are spoons like this one and inline spinners like this one. Even though spoons like this one do a lot of wobbling back and forth as you pull them through the water, they also do a lot of spinning in complete circles as you pull them through the water. And that will induce twists into your line if you're not using some sort of snap swivel or swivel. And with inline spinners like this one, it's not just the spinner that spins. The actual shaft of the spinner a lot of times will be slowly spinning as you bring it through the water. Most of the time, a good ball bearing swivel like this one is an excellent option for absorbing any kind of twists that a lure might induce into your line. As the lure spins, one half of the swivel part spins with it but the other half does not. That keeps the twists off your line. A standard snap swivel will help with this also, but for spinning lures, the ball bearing swivel is a better option. Now for me, usually when I'm casting lures, I will tie a swivel to the main line, a length of some sort of leader material, floral carbon, mono, okay, maybe 8 to 12 inches, and then I will tie a snap or a clip to the end of that. So I kind of have all the benefits of a full snap swivel. Ease of changing lures because I have the clip on one end and then also the swivel to absorb any line twists. But I don't have all the bulk that you get when you attach a full snap swivel directly to the lure. These leaders are very similar to like the wire leaders that you can buy it's just that you can use mono or fluorocarbon instead of wire. Now, should you ever tie your line directly to the lure? Well, for me personally, yes, sometimes. A good rule of thumb to go by is that when you're using lures that you work kind of slow, they are more likely to benefit from tying directly to them as opposed to having a big snap swivel or a clip attached to them. 
Generally, I'm going to tie directly to, say, like a walleye jig, like this one, or maybe a tube bait like this one for bass, or a soft plastic jerk minnow for some pike. All those presentations are going to be worked pretty slow, and with less hardware attached to those lures, it just makes them look better, and they're able to be fished more naturally. Even though I'm going to tie directly to these last three presentations that I mentioned, I'm probably still going to be using that swivel 8 to 12 inches up from the lure. Most of the time when I'm casting lures, my main line is going to be a braid. But I do like to convert over to a floral carbon leader when I get near the lure. So that swivel 8 to 12 inches up the line allows me to do that. Keep in mind, if you do decide to tie directly to a lure that's not really designed for it, there might be some sharp edges in and around where you tie the line to, and of course, that can weaken your line. And also, guys, anytime you're using just a bare hook with live bait, always tie directly. No snaps, no clips, no snap swivels. All that stuff just takes away from the natural look of live bait. And also, do not let the snap, clip, or snap swivel overpower the lure and that can mean a couple things visually don't let the snap or clip or snap swivel be very big compared to the size of the lure and also don't use too big of a snap swivel where it diminishes the action of the lure sometimes when I'm using real small lures I'll use one of these micro clips to attach the lure to the line but if I'm using some kind of lure that spins either a spinner or a spoon, I'm still going to have that swivel 8 to 12 inches up the line. Even when I'm fly fishing with poppers, I'll use these micro clips to attach the popper to the line. Now, I wouldn't recommend using one of those micro clips on really small dry flies. That would kind of get into that situation where the clip or snap is overpowering the lure. Now, like I said earlier, I do like having my snap or clip kind of discreet in compared to the size of the lure, but you don't want to go too far on the small side either. The strength of your snap, clip, or snap swivel has to be matched up with the pound test line that you're using, and it also has to be matched up with the size fish that you might be catching. You wouldn't want to use one of these small micro clips on 40 pound test braid and attach it to one of these musky lures with the intentions of catching a big musky. Okay. So, for a quick recap, using snaps and clips makes changing lures a lot easier. Also, when you're fishing with any kind of lure that spins, make sure you have a swivel somewhere on the line. Whenever you're fishing with lures that you fish very, very slow, like jigs or soft plastics, go ahead and tie directly to the line, but you can also have that swivel 8 to 12 inches up from the lure. Do not use clips, snaps, or snap swivels with live bait. Always match up the strength of your snaps, clips, and snap swivels with the pound test line that you're using and also with the size fish that you intend on catching. Okay guys, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe and remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.